Generic greetings and welcome back once again to a hopefully chill session on kingdoms and castles. In the previous episode, we increased the population by adding in some more housing. We increased the um, overall health of our population because we built a hospital and got in another church and some more blacksmith and mainly a lot more defences via the wall size increase and obviously more blister towers and archer towers. Speaking of that, we are currently getting attacked by the Vikings. Eight Vikings in total, so we need to sort them out. Job priority, scroll up to the top and turn on all of our archers and ballista towers, so hopefully we'll be able to take out these uh, people here. Obviously we have a fairly decent range because of the height of some of these things. I also want to bring our knights out the front. Some of them are currently trying to collect training supplies and, you know, rearm and such, but there we are. And I'm just waiting for these guys to come in. So you can see they are trudging straight through the forest here. We have a big ogre and we have all of the people with banners there as well, but people have also now jumped on the ballista and we're going to get some shots out. So I'm bringing over our army here to try and fend off against this invading force. However, I do think that we're probably going to lose them because of the sheer amount of forces that they have but that's what they're here for they are there to defend the people who are not able to defend themselves and i'm going to actually fall them back to get rid of this guy because they're currently yes they're currently punching the uh the front of the wall and oh they've actually destroyed it so now that we've lost that we basically just have to hold tight here and hopefully we'll be able to stop them getting in although I fear that yep the walls are certainly open and they are charging through and oh there goes our banner oh yeah generic readings it's not so bad here well that is not the case because they've battered straight through the wall and are now charging through the center setting fire to some homes and also raiding um our main keep for money which to be fair is fine i would happily just pay them off if they would uh, choose to leave that's <laughs> that's okay with me you can see they're leaving there and sadly we're not going to be able to kill them because it looks like a lot of these shots are missing which is suboptimal and also that's not firing even though I thought it was in range but it might just be a line of sight thing but I think that is about it oh no they've set fire to some more homes there so quite a quite a vicious attack and we did expect it to be quite bad but we have managed to survive which is which is good. Okay, so it looks like they have been destroyed there, and that is the last of them, which is pretty good. Anyway, with the remaining uh, resources that we have, I am going to obviously keep on expanding this wall, and ah, it looks like we have... Oh, fire has claimed a cottage. Where is the claim the cottage? Oh, it's claimed it there. We will rebuild that. Over to the merchant then, and we'll see what they have. I can go special item. Oh, special upgrade available. Armor piercing ballista technology. Increase all ballista tower damage by 25%. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm, I'm clicking that. Okay, the mouse button's either stop working or you can't do it while you're in combat. I fear it's the, uh, the latter. But we are sinking boats, and... Oh, all of our 100... <laughs> Our 100 generic units of currency is just sunk to the depths. That is not good. It says 750 and we have 850. We have enough. I will sell some more. Can we not buy that? We are not able to. That's a shame. Over to job priority. I'm going to turn off the archers. We do not need the archer towers. It's the blister towers that we need. Actually, I'll say need. We don't need them, but you can see they are focus firing. <laughs> And we've still got a nice lovely fishing scene at the bottom there while the, the Vikings head out. Okay, fine. And yeah, they're not going to destroy them. Okay, I will. I think I'm going to go ahead and then turn off the ballista operators. We no longer need them operating in this area. And it looks like, money-wise, we've actually gone right down. You see that? Oh no, we're on. I think the right amount. It's. Oh, I'm looking. I'm looking at food rather than money an idiot um can we get more money quickly more tax rate increase the tax rate armor piercing would be really good right is it possible that we'll be able to get that right amount of money i don't know what i do know is that's on fire and we need to rebuild that gate so we'll rebuild the gate we're on 700 oh, it was on 
712, up to now 715, 725, and come on, 750, 733, 743, it's fluctuating, 745, please don't leave by the time I can get this, so this is all new to me, this new, new special, ah, oh, 749, one more, no, it's back down to 4-1. I wish they would accept food instead. Oh, we can sell them three of that. And bye. There we go. We have now bought it. Special upgrade available. Thank you for your purchase. Excellent. So I don't know whether or not we... I have to reduce that tax rate a bit. I didn't want 20%. We'll put it to 15. It was on 10 for a while, so I think that's reasonable. Okay, so we've got that. I don't know if that's shown anywhere. It doesn't say but either way we've managed to get that let's take our one remaining knight here because obviously we have sadly lost some of them to that attack which we to be fair that was expected we did expect something like that to happen but at least we uh we fared off a better than uh well maybe we may have done Right, so in terms of expansion then, we did talk about this side, well actually we talked about the top here first, where we'd go out and go that way, but I think the better option at this stage is to extend to here. So what we'll have to do is have a wall along there, and then a wall coming down to this area, and this one will come down and then across, and eventually we'll probably include all of this in our defensive line, so demolish all of this and then expand this way. But this is something that is something that is brand new to me. I've never used the the Nori or the Act Up stuff, so it's going to be a learning experience. I didn't want to Google it or check out anything like that. Um, one could argue that's a bad way of doing it, but, you know, the uh, journey and discovery is quite interesting. Looks like uh, some Meghel is up there and actually A-OK -okay in terms of health so we'll we'll continue on and attack over on here. I wonder if there's an achievement for pacifying an island of all of the beasties. I assume there is. We can feed pe peasants instantly. This is the witch here. Go now. I'm not happy about this. Go now. Well, okay. <laughs> well, because I, I am sorry, sorry for the intrusion, but <laughs> what, what are you not happy about? <laughs> I was just seeing if you're all right. Oh, is that our banner? Yeah, the banner just fell. We've lost another army. Oh, wow. Uh, Train some more swordsmen then. That's a shame. That is a big shame. I would have thought we'd been all right there, but apparently not. Okay. So the wall then, as you can see, I am expanding it along to this side and then we'll demolish these. If I demolish this, do we get any resources back? Yes, we do get resources back. So I will promptly do all of that. And we gain loads of resources back, which is excellent. Because then we can build along uh, Get that wood chopped. Get a wood chuck on there. Get that sorted. Increase the size of that. Get more miners here. Might as well. We'll have to increase the... Well, we'll have to run a... Oh. We'll have to run a, a road over there. A terrible plague is just... Spread across the land as if that could happen in real life. Totally unrealistic, this game. Um, so health is actually excellent. We could cure it instantly. No, we couldn't. It costs 471 generic units of currency to cure it. So sadly, one person died. A couple of people recovered. We do have a hospital and a couple of clinics. So we should be all right there. Either way, you can see they are cracking on. Building all of this stuff, which is good. The wall itself will need to be brought out and round. Next attack will be via dragon. And I'll have to see where that occurs. I'm tempted to leave that there. 
because it's roughly in the middle. No, this would be better around here. Um, no, let's demolish that and then demolish the rest. Well, I want that demolish. Demolish, because it wasn't undemolished. There we are. That's now demolished. And we've got loads of resources back, which allows us to then build some more of these castle blocks and then go on with the rest of that building. There we are. Right. So we have now an extension on this side where we actually have some fertile land, but it's not very fertile. Very fertile land we've got here, and we've got some very fertile up here if we need more, but currently food-wise, we're okay. Looks like the peasants... Uh, looks like everything's been cured. Peasants are in excellent health. Looks like that plague has been quickly sorted out. Looks like we have good health care. And now they are trending towards, ha trending towards happiness 70. 73 being the average home happiness. I'm guessing it because of a lack of taverns in some areas, although we do have good tavern coverage, so that's not a big problem then. In terms of the defences then, let's make sure that all of these are at the proper level. That is my focus really. Actually, what would be better? Because we have so many people idle, it would be better if I built... Let's see, a iron mine, no, it would be a quarry there and there, followed by a road, which will come along here, and that will connect all those up, and then I want one coming along to the, the nori or whatever. One of our peasants has sadly died in a woodcutting cut accident. Speaking of... Uh, Woodcutting. I did turn off the foresters and quarries for tools, and it looks like we're actually gaining a decent amount of tools now. So I'm going to turn the others on and see if that works okay, because I did obviously get some more blacksmiths. Looks like the total change was plus zero, but we do have three. To be fair, we have three iron mines and three blacksmiths now, so hopefully the maths works out correctly there's almost the top level for that we have more fish as well which is good so a nice balanced diet there wheat and bread 100% fruits 88% and fish pork 85% so most the vast majority of people in the in the city have ready ready access to fresh fruit and veg and like you know kind of a vi uh, varied diet looks like that's in now as well i'm going to place a small stockpile in there and obviously change that to stone only that's all it's going to use oh no actually we might change it to tools as well we'll tell them to have some tools there there's another merchant i wonder if they've got anything special to sell us we'll check in but a moment just waiting for this to be completed so we don't forget to alter it. Because I can guarantee it's something that I would do. And it should be done now. There you are. One more, tiny little bit more. One more timber for that to be completed. I can see them coming along. And there we go. So we want this as zero across the board. Apart from tools, 900. And actually, I've said 200 for that. Don't know why, but we'll set that as that. Okay, so for the merchant then, we will not do anything because it left before I could do anything with it. I d <laughs> didn't think it would be uh, gone that quick, but it is what it is. All right, so for blister towers then, we'll place one, two, three, and then four once that's built. And for... The Noria, we need a bit more timber. We're on currently 31, obviously fluctuating. Let's have a quick look at the charcoal. Plus 8 charcoal, so that's fine. Wood, we're on plus 90. But the wood, to be fair, a lot of it obviously is built. A lot of it is just put in from the building of the, the walls here. Which I will build some more of. Because we have a nice ready supply of stone. Lots of stone, actually. In fact, if anything, as I said, the, the timber could be an issue. Maybe another one over here, perhaps. We have the people available, don't we? So, 
to be a forester. I ironically need more wood to build it. I don't think we'll be able to build it actually because of where it is. Too far away from roads. Sire would go there. So if we go for chop wood there, get rid of those, and build a road across. Like that. It'll take him a while to get that, but we'll, we'll crack on. I wonder if we can just... It does say it requires, like, ready access to a road. I wonder if it, does, it doesn't need to be connected like that. As long as you can have the road, they can sort of leapfrog past it, if that makes sense. I would assume that would work. There we go, and there's another forest. It doesn't go all the way at the edge, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so, one of those there. For the stone gate... Can you build on top of it to increase, like, how strong it is? I think you can, which we're going to do like that. <laughs> it's a bit uh, strange when you look at some of the stuff we've done there. Oh, looks like we do have another another one of these guys. So we will send them out in a bit of revenge, almost, to attack there. Although I think I've deselected them, yes. So we're going to attack over there. A little bit of a trip, but shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, I think now build a Noria. And it can go there. So it will go there. And we'll see what this thing does. <laughs> Apart from provide water. I wonder if there's an in-game help. No! Well, we'll figure it out. I'm guessing it just supplies water around the aqueduct, but then I don't actually know. There's rock removal as well, which is removes things like, well, that thing there. Can be removed by rock removal, yes. See, I always thought when it said rock removal, it meant it was a... Have they taken out those wolves? Yeah, they have taken out those wolves with almost no ill effects. I always thought rock removal was a, like a tool, an option here, but... Apparently not. So, dragon attacks in two years. Not a huge issue, I think. Unless it... I mean, that there, good range. We've got one also in here. So we need one around... No, because those have got this covered. This is obviously the prime area for an issue. So I'm tempted to place one in here. And one in here. And... There we are. There's those built. Followed by Ballista Towers shortly. And probably get some more homes as well. I know we've still got 13 people who are not around here. I think I'll place a couple of homes around there. Requires a manor. Manor and a cottage will fit in there. You can see we've got like those laid out where we've got them on the front and back. And it's in a decent position. We could run with a festival. Andy Moore, the festival organiser there. And that'll, I think, cheers people up. Yeah, plus 15. We'll run that. One more. Yeah, until... The dragon. Hopefully it'll just come from a direction that we can quite simply just shoot it from very easily. I'm hoping that is the case. That looks to be a very, very chunky wall now. Yeah. The object was never to build the walls up to that height. It was probably just to build it up to one level before this one. Um, but I'll focus on <laughs> over here as well. At least I know you get at least some of the resources back. So we can safely increase the size of this wall until we're ready to expand over here. Which is a future us problem. Like I said, at the moment, we are working about the, uh, the... We need a bathhouse, so we'll focus on that. And then I'm guessing later on it's going to ask for a great library and a cathedral. And then we've also got these huge statues. A guardian of the forest and all of its creatures. A fig we trust. And a dragon should appreciate the statue, the sculptor. And maybe if you make one, the dragon just goes, Oh, well done, and then just turns away. Um, oh, another plague... Lots of people visited, and 138 people visited because of the festival, but none obviously stayed. 
because there was no place for them to stay. We haven't got a cottage or any manor houses. Hmm. Anyway. Speed up to max speed while I crack on with the building there. This is still getting built. These are obviously getting constructed. Talon Martin has died of old age along with two other peasants. Let's t tell these guys to recuperate. Trying to think if there's else. Trying to see if there's elsewhere. I'm looking down. To see if there's any other wolves. There's some wolves there in that corner. And there might be some elsewhere as well. I'm going to go ahead and turn on ballista operators and the archers because you can see the dragon attack is imminent. It is flashing. It's giving us a little. It's winking at us in. Uh, there's there's going to be a dragon attack shortly. There you go. Three exclamation marks. Imminent. Danger level increasing. Food is good. Food storage. There we go. Oh, dragon is sighted off. Darn it. Off the coast. What's that? That's a whale. It's sighted off the coast that we've got not, uh, we haven't we have got defended. Oh no, they are built. We are oh, actually quite well defended on that side. But yeah, let's uh, go here. There's a whale. Okay. We might be able to do something with that. So here comes the dragon. And hopefully these towers will... Oh, no, they're not going to spin around and fire because they're not yet fully staffed. Oh, it looks like the peasants are coming towards this and there's some shots. So one shot out, other ones are training on them and... Oh, yeah, this is this is good defence. There's two more hours, three more hours, four, five, six, and it's dead. <laughs> and we'll turn the blister operators off and the archers. Thank you for your service. Uh, you can go back to whatever, whatever you want. And just say one's dragon is still sighted. No, well, maybe the, maybe it's sighted. It's currently embedded in that rock down there, and it looks like dragon is back on the menu. And we are trending towards ninety because excited about the recent dragon kill plus twenty. Good. Looks like the Noria is now in place, which is good. Provides water, attack reducts and reservoirs. Fine. Um, bathhouse then. So it looks like we can place bath houses. Good grief, they are quite quite large, a bath house. So I'm thinking in the centre here is the way forward. It will require the destruction of several structures. So what I'm going to do is... I am going to place it here because I think it's a nice place for it to be. It is centralised and gets all the houses plus any potential expansion. But that will require um, demolishing of... Two manor houses and a cottage and a well. Okay, so what we'll do is we will place a manor house there. We'll place a cottage there. The witch has sent word that she would like to speak to us. Okay. What I'm going to do is place a one of them there and a well at the back. And then also a well. See, removing that could cause some issues because then we wouldn't have ready access to water. I could remove that market, actually. And then put it there. Although, <laughs> you would think that the bathhouse would have ready access to water. And then I'm going to place a bigger market on this side. Let's have a look. Where have we got in here? Town square, no. Cottage, no. Tavern, we don't necessarily need a market. Could place it there. Okay, that's fine. So, the witch would like a word. I need some new shelves for my spell ingredients. 32 timber. Well, that shouldn't be an issue, but it actually is. Now, there you go, send. And we now have tree double yield. Click. Tree double yield, tree double yield. Chopping trees seems to yield twice as much as usual. It's a miracle, courtesy of the witch. So that has gives access to more spells, and we're now getting more trees, which is good. I mean, more tree yield, so, you know. We're getting more pop-up, and then we're chopping them down. Anyway. Let's send the 
army after another one of those wolves in the den. All of these wolves dens are wolf's dens are pacified. All of these are pacified. That's pacified. So is that one. There's the merchant. I think this is the last remaining wolf den. This last remaining pack of wolves. I think you see that banner coming. <laughs> oh, it's them again. Sal uh, Sir Lance Lancelot. And almost taken them out. I think that's it. That's it. I don't know if there's any more. Let's say I would have thought that would have been a passive thing. Pacified. Uh, any of the merchant has arrived. Let's have a little chat. Nothing special to get, which is a shame. But they are wanting to buy some things. So we'll sell... Don't particularly want to sell those tools, actually. Complete the sale. In terms of purchasing... I'm going to purchase loads more tools. Because I think... Yeah, minus three change last year. Fine. Anyway, where was I? So we were increasing the size of the wall. And this is going to hopefully help us out in the long run for defence. And just can't get that last little section. But with the next Viking attack in the next two years, it's probably going to be needed. We're going to train some more swordsmen. Actually, two more. For the defence of the realm. Although we don't actually have the spare villagers available. So that requires more manners. And I think we'll have one there. And a cottage at the back. We can do that. Go back over to the wall. And there we go. So that wall is now twice as tall as it was and hopefully twice as good. Let's start by demolishing that. I say we'll have to demolish some of these, but only once we have enough people. It also depends on where they're, where they're going to attack from. I'm hoping they attack again on this side or this side. If they attack from here, what's most likely going to happen is they're just going to smash through that wall. That's why we have someone over here. We are training some more swordsmen. It's going to take some time though. Uh, we do have now some more people idle. But I don't want to. I don't want to keep demolishing because doing that will potentially leave us with fewer people than we can really have. Uh, fewer homes, rather. 141 people, and we've got 181 beds. So demolishing this would make people homeless. I'm still going to do it because this one's almost completed. And this is obviously where our bathhouse is going to go. It will require the destruction of this manor house. We now have another army, as you can see. And we're still training another one. I could tell them to train a further one. There's the Viking attack. Jobs. Ballista operators and archers on. Vikings are invading from the previous direction. So what I'm going to do is get our armies to the front gate there. Because they're probably going to use the, the path that they did previously. Through here. Yep, they're going to use the same path. It looks to be the same sort of layout as well. Big ogre thing. Giant. And then a couple of the big looters. And then loads of the other guys as well. How are we doing over here for housing? Housing's good. Demolish that. And then get a bathhouse. I don't know if the orientation is... I don't know if it matters, but I'm going to place it that direction. There's a bathhouse in. While the... Obviously, they'll be building that. I want to just double check to make sure that builders... Aren't above these. No, they're not. 
timber and quarry workers now, though, but we have enough, hopefully, for the defence. We can see we have one, two ballistas facing that direction. We also have two archers, two armies, and also the wall is now twice as thick, and the tower is, well, the, the sorry, the door, keep, entrance, whatever you want to call it, is also better. A lot better. I don't know how how much better it is, but it is better. Looks like we are able to intercept these forces. The giant is trying to go for our main door, whereas we are able to intercept those. And we're taking out all of these forces here. The problem is they're trying to get round. It's actually easy for them to go around the outside because I don't think the ballistas... Oh no, the ballistas can get a line of sight to them. Okay. It's actually easy for us to go around and let the let the towers deal with it. You know, the slow walking around the outside and they're also getting shot off this tower as well. And I think that's it. That seems to be it. Yes, it is. So the Vikings are now retreating. All right, we will turn off the ballista towers and the archers. We could keep the ballistas on to shoot these guys as they go past, but I don't think there's any great requirement to do that. Oh, you know what? There's not a great requirement, but there is a bit of a need. <laughs> Let's get that on, turned on, and see if they'll, they'll shoot that. Are they going to do it? No, I think they're, they're going to. It's going to take them too long to get here. We might get one or two as they go past. But I don't think we've got the, the damage output, especially with that turned off. No, we don't. Okay, we'll not waste any more time on that one, and we'll knock that off. Right, good. So, managed to defend against that. Um, this is requiring water, so let's see how this thing works. So, I always click on the maritime bit, but it's actually in food. So, you've got reservoir. Stars water and provides irrigation. Must be connected to aqueducts in the Noria network. So, we can place it wherever. I'm just going to see where we can place... There's the merchant. Let me have a chat with the merchant first before we do this. They are up for buying things. Tools. Um, stone as well, which we are ooh, very much okay for. Let's sell some... Oh, that's just buy. No, that was on sell. I was doing that correctly. Um, I'm going to buy 30 tools. We're going to buy 7 armaments. Uh, no, that's probably worth 24 armaments and I think that should do us quite nicely so people have visited the kingdom were not able to find beds not a great issue there and what's happened there someone's ran over picked them up and now taking them to the, the graveyard I think that's accident via Noria right so the aqueduct it ah it can go through hang on can it go through Right, it seems it can go over pathways and also through here, but it can't go through buildings, which makes absolute perfect sense. So the Noria then is going to come down. Ooh, it's expensive, isn't it? <laughs> right, and that's as far as I can build. <laughs> right. And I want to connect it up to this bit so that'll come across. I may have a reservoir here, which will look pretty cool, and then around. I assume that's how it works. One of our peasants has died under mysterious circumstances. Again, Noria accident. Uh, what's that saying? Not connected to Noria. Well, I'll turn that off. Might as well close it. There's no. Oh, and also keeping it open uh, was costing cash. Alright, okay. Well, we can tax them some more. We'll ta we're, we're taxing them from for the bathhouse. That's what we're doing. Well, that's what we're saying. <laughs> I'm also going to assume that... Yeah. This does say, like, how much it costs when it's on. But I was thinking, does it count that as activated, even though there's not staffed and it's costing us money? But it doesn't, thankfully. Richard Rudd has died of old age along with two other peasants. Which happened previously. Okay, over to the Noria once again. 
aqueduct rather which will go along to the end and then to there that seems to connect up and we're going to see if that's going to be supplied with water like I said that aqueduct I believe we can build roads underneath it uh, it seems to allow it whether or not it works I don't know I might it might move the pillars or something no it just places the aqueduct on top it doesn't look too bad actually because you can, you can easily squeeze past that and <laughs> the way the building they're all like lined up very obligingly next to that the design is interesting actually you've got essentially these archways and pillars built and then on the top you've got more, littler archways smaller ones with the with the water channel at the top I wonder why it's like that. That is connected to that side, and it does seem that water can flow from there, which is why I've placed it that direction. Oh, there we go. There's water that's flown to there. Sadly, it's now frozen, probably. Oh, one peasant has left the kingdom in despair. To be fair, it is 51. I've reduced that tax rate down. That'll trend towards 67, then. And once that's built, and we turn on the bathhouse, trending towards 74. We need some more buildings. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, two more manor houses. And I think I want to the road like that and then I'm thinking what we'll probably do is have like a tavern and such around here um, let's also think about reservoirs yeah we can put one there and you can actually put I'm guessing you can chain multiples together I'll put them around that area so I'll store them away from this I don't know if there's any great need but there we are so we've managed to successfully build a working aqueduct. There's our bathhouse. Nice to be able to see it other than just the complete whiteout that we've got because of the snow. Take a little bit of time, but we'll get there. There we are. So there's our bathhouse. Oh, hang on. We can spy on people. So, yeah. Oh, we can't click on them. But the bathhouse is in. Provides a place to, uh, to bathe for the peasants. Improves happiness in large radius. Requires connection to Honoria. Well, that's exactly what we've got. There's our bathhouse. There's our... Channel there on the aqueduct. And there's the Noria. Which is functioning... Well, exactly as intended, really, isn't it? And I'm happy to say that works. Good. Taverns are too crowded. Let's sort that out. More tavern, more better. Right across the road here, we'll have a tavern. And I like the way that the tavern is situated so that you, the entrance is around here, but the tables are right next to the market. So you can have a beverage, libation even, and then even go and get like a nice leg of ham or something. Seems to be that the merchant ship has turned up. We can sell some wood. We do have decent amounts of that. Stone. Uh, yeah, I think we're okay for stone. And... Minus four. Well, that's in minuses. <laughs> um, selling minus four. Don't know how that works. Let's complete the sale. <laughs> Delete. Zero. That's weird. Okay. Over to then... Where do we have our three our three armies are over there. I don't really want another standing army. I'm not too bothered about that one. But I do want some more defences. So the question is, do I want to Oh hang on, is that Oh yes, that won't be able to build any higher. Do I want to just build another set of another set of uh, walls around there and along this area? And then this side too. I'm tempted to get I'm tempted to do that, but what else can we build? 
Large fountain. Provides all the benefits of fountain, but in a large area, much bigger happiness. Must be irrigated land near a reservoir to function. Ah! And is that what the reservoir is doing? Let me check. Stores water and provides irrigation. That's why all this is now fertile and receiving irrigation. So if we ran that pipe all the way to here, we could irrigate the land. We would have to run it quite away though, wouldn't we? Hang on. Been difficult to keep my fire going. The one charcoal. We'll send charcoal. We now have Viking Smite. Ooh. That sounds dangerous to Vikings. Okay. I think then, in terms of building, got a great library and a cathedral. Proves villages happiness in a very large radius. Vikings that enter the radius sometimes convert to peasants and join your kingdom. Ooh, okay. Well, we could. Ooh, that's a big over. I was going to say demolish that old church. Demolish the church and the cemetery and such. Uncomfortable in demolishing the cemetery. I mean, we could just place it here. Right next to that. It's... It's not in... It's not got all of the peasants in. You see the ones over there are not in. But I mean, it's right next to this. That's an ominous lightning strike at that time. Uh, so we'll think about that later on. <laughs> I'm tempted then to expand the aqueduct. Because it says just... Fertile, irrigated, land is ready for agriculture. So I don't know if we need that one. I'll demolish that one, we don't need it. So if we expanded this, we could bring it along here, across there, up and then place one maybe there, and irrigate this land. Another option is to perhaps remove this tower entirely and just connect it to there. That would be the better option, wouldn't it? I think we've got enough defences here with all of the outside ones. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Because we've expanded quite a bit. We've got the bathhouse, we've got the irrigation, more trading, more walls, more chatting with the witch. And I think it's a good time to leave it. Next episode, I'll think about perhaps doing what we said and expanding that Noria network. What else could we do? Rock removal. Might as well remove that while we're on. We've got, let's say, irrigation, all the Noria stuff. We've got statues that we could possibly build, gardens that we haven't done. A great library. Prides away to research bonuses for your kingdom and a large amount of happiness. Wow. But that requires, again, a massive overhaul. I would like it right in the centre there, but that's where the hospital is. Yeah, we're coming on to the overhaul stage of the game, perhaps. Okay, I'm going to have a think and see how we get on, because there's a couple of buildings, like a cathedral and the great library and irrigation, to be thought about. And obviously expansion around here as well. Lots of options. Lots of more time to play. Hopefully, still quite a chill game. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Next episode, we'll crack on with what we mentioned, make a decision, and go from there. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.